Sis, how many times have you woken up late for work and looked at your closet filled with clothes and been like, I have nothing to wear? Well, you're in luck because today's video is exactly what the doctor ordered. Keep on watching. <laughs> Today's video is all about building outfits, specifically work outfits. I don't know if it's because some, and more likely most of us, have been working from home for the last two or so years, but putting together outfits that are chic and comfortable can seem so overwhelming. Hit that like button if you agree. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my top tips and tricks for putting together comfortable yet chic outfits so that every time you step your foot out the door, you feel chic, comfortable, and confident. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle on this channel. So if that's what you're into, sis, you found your tribe. Make sure to keep on watching because I'm gonna share with you a hack that is going to revolutionize building outfits for work, okay? So stay tuned so you don't miss it. So be warned that you're gonna see a lot of color in this video. And that's because neutrals are really taking a back seat to color this season. Now I know this may be atypical for work, but I promise you I will share with you different ways that you can interject it, even in the most strict of dress codes. Although I'm more of a pants girl, I had to do a skirt look for my girls here. And I chose this faux leather A-line midi skirt from H&M. It's an old skirt, but I know that they brought it back last year. So I will check to see if they brought it back again this year. What I like about a skirt like this is that it's very malleable and it really lends itself to different styles. If your style is a little bit more frilly and more girly, you can totally pair it with things like that. If your style is a little bit more classic or more androgynous, pick up that um, white button down and pair it with this skirt, right? But in the case of this look, I decided I wanted to pick up this purple sweater, right? It's a lightweight knit, so it's perfect as we're transitioning into spring. I wanted to show how you could interject some color into your workwear without pushing the boundaries too much, right? You're still kind of pushing the boundaries when you're, if you're in more of a stricter dress code, but it's not crazy because we're gonna ground the rest of this look with neutrals, which leads me to the shoes. I went with some brown pumps. You could totally do like a purple pump or red pump if you really wanted to add more colors to this look. But remember, we're trying to, you know, ground the look and keep the purple the focus of the look. And so I went with brown pumps. Now, if it's too cold where you're at to wear pumps, you could also totally do a brown over the knee boot like I have done here and you're adding in another texture because you're adding in some suede to this look and then to finish things off with this look you could do a colored bag because we are trying to ground the look I decided to go for a neutral colored bag now you have some options right if you don't have to carry like a laptop or like a tablet to work or just a lot of stuff to work then you could totally do a crossbody bag but if you do then I would opt for a satchel one thing I like about this satchel is the size. Now this is an inspired bag because I know every time I show this bag I always get somebody asking me questions about it. It's an inspired bag. It's a dupe and I've had it for several years. It's no longer available. I bought it on Amazon. This dupe was so good. Like I shared it. I got it in three colors. Well I didn't keep I didn't end up keeping three colors. I kept only one color. But at that time I had gotten in three colors. Shared it with everybody. Those who got it got it. I like six months later somebody was DMing me like who can I have the link to that bag? I was like girl. It all sold out sense <laughs> which is why you should be following me on like to know it by the way because I always share my finds even things that I may not necessarily get but I know that are good finds I share on like to know it so just like a little shameless plug if you're interested in a bag like this let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can source up for you so tell me how did I do with this look would you wear this to work yes no would you add anything to this look or remove anything from this look to finish things off I'd probably just throw on a simple trench coat and and voila, you're ready to go. And then you have the perfect festive winter to spring transitional look. Cause I just thought about a purple Easter. Maybe you could do a lavender and you would be on theme. Okay, so. <laughs> This next outfit is definitely my favorite. If you know me, you know that I love the color mustard. And so she had to make an appearance. If you saw my Amazon favorites video, you already seen these pants. Of course, I had to make a look with her. Another look, 
okay? And again, this is an example where you can really look for pieces with interesting details. So rather than having your run of the mill slack, all right, here we have ourselves some high-waisted trapeze, balloon, pull-on pants. You have that pleating detail around the leg. They have the pleating detail around the waist. And then I decided why not pair it with a matching turtleneck. Again, these are super lightweight. I talked about these in my Amazon favorites video. So you won't be so overheated. But this look is also for my folks that are in like Chicago and like, you know, in the colder parts, Michigan, where it doesn't start to feel like summer until July this look is for you okay and then I paired it with some black pumps and you'll see why in a second and then I finished it off with this coat one of the easiest ways to start building an outfit is to start with a focus point or a focal point right you pick that one item and then you frame the rest of your look around the item for me it was this coat as soon as I saw this coat online I already could think of all the endless ways I could style it I have a lot of mustard in my wardrobe it looks really great on my complexion and so if something if it ain't broke <laughs> don't fix it so I've definitely invested more into it and I realized that I didn't have any mustard colored coat and I really wanted to add some statement coats to my collection so the entire work look is going to be framed around this coat so now if you work in a more corporate environment in an environment where the dress code is a little bit stricter maybe you can't do a full-on mustard monochrome moment but you can definitely do an all black moment and then have fun with your coat right and once you get into the office you can take it off and you're still within dress code right but when you walk into the office when you walk in when you walk in okay this is the outfit you wear when you're meeting clients somewhere maybe at a restaurant you know somewhere where you want them to take in the full entire look okay this is the outfit you wear maybe when you are putting in your two week notice you could also do brown pumps with this look if you wanted and you know do a different coat but or even a blazer with this as well like a plaid blazer would work well with this look but I really like to wear these pants without a jacket because I feel like I want the details to shine so let me know your thoughts on this look would you have matched your bag in your shoe like I do have some nude-ish pumps that would go with this look. Let me know in the comments if you like it more with the nude-ish pumps or if you like it more with the black. Okay, if you don't get anything in this video, pay attention because if you do not have in your arsenal a good pair of black pumps, a good pair of neutral pumps, or nude pumps, nude for your color, then sis, I'm going to link some for you down below because they're just a must-have. They're a must-have. And I definitely recommend you buy the best quality you can because these things matter in pulling your look together and making your look a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more elevated, right? And because these things are going to be like anchor pieces and pieces you're going to wear over and over again, you want to spend a little bit more so that you can actually get the best bang for your buck right when you buy something really affordable it's not made to last and before you know it you're buying again and you know budgets are tight but that's where things like Kalarna and Afterpay really come in I'm not a big proponent of going into debt but for pieces like this that I know that will pay you back in their dividend and in their wear I highly recommend you invest the money okay don't use your Kalarna and your Afterpay to buy that sequin birthday dress use it to buy something that will allow you to represent yourself in the workplace in the best possible light the focal point of this look are gonna be these super high-waisted pants from loft they just came in y'all gonna get sick of these pants I'm thinking of you're gonna get sick of me okay if you're following me on Instagram you know but y'all gonna get sick of me in these pants because they are the high-waist dreams of my life okay and I just want to show you like how I would style them to make them a little bit more work appropriate again this is something for someone who works in a little bit more of a creative space so to start off I paired the pants with this printed sort of like mesh top now I wouldn't necessarily choose this top for work especially if you work somewhere that's a little bit more restrictive however to kind of ground you know unless I'm getting a clothing allowance for work you know I'm gonna buy clothes that I can wear for work and for the weekend period okay so those are my thoughts on that 
And then to finish things off, I threw on a pair of pumps. Now I know y'all gonna come for me because I know a lot of you have been asking me to do videos on how to style flats and how to make flats look chic, etc., etc. So if you wanted to, you do not have to wear this look with a pair of pumps. You could totally wear this look with a pair of green loafers or if you have some like cream loafers to match the pants, you could totally do that as well. I do not have green loafers. I do not have cream loafers either. So I could not style this look in that way. I'm just letting you know that loafers or ballet flats would look great with this look as well. So to finish these off, I just grabbed my handy dandy satchel and that's the look. So let me know your thoughts on this one. Is it a yes? Is it a no? Would you wear this to work? You guys know that I love me a good vest and I've been talking about how you can really use it. I've been talking about how you can use it to add some interest to your look. If you haven't seen that video that I did about, you know, accessorizing your looks and just elevating them, then I'm going to link that video for you up here. So this look is what I would consider something you would wear again if you work in a more business casual slash creative space. So here I have this puff sleeve white top. Honestly, this top has just been one of my favorite finds ever because it like it marries the structure and the sophistication of a simple white button down with just this added touch with the puff sleeves, right? If you work in a more corporate or a more restrictive environment, this is another way that you can add some fun, okay, and a little bit of your personality to your workwear, right? Button down, if you work in like a corporate environment, a white button down shirt is a must have, it's like a standard. But when you throw in the puff sleeve, you're able to make the outfit a little bit more interesting. So you wanna look for pieces like a pencil skirt with maybe an added detail, like a ruffling around the waistband, right? That's the that added detail, right? If you're able, you could even do one in a fun color if color is allowed. So these are the ways that you can add your personality and add a little bit more fun and bring a little bit more life into your workwear. So I digress. I paired it with a denim skirt, but feel free to pair the same look with a skater skirt if you want something a little bit more preppy or just a regular black skirt, right? And then I finish it off with a chunky loafer. I know this is not everybody's cup of tea, but it is technically a flat. Okay, <laughs> and then it adds a little bit of currentness, but it is technically a flat. And these loafers are very current, they're very now. So if you're trying to incorporate a little bit of fun to your look and you want some fancy flats, then I recommend loafers like these. You can also pair these with um, ankle length slacks as well. And it just adds a little bit of spice, <laughs> a little bit of something, you know, to your look. It's Friday again. All right, so this look is the perfect look for Friday. Now, this look may be familiar to some of you because you may have caught my short, okay? Where I basically got ready with the girls and I absolutely fell in love with the colors on this sweater. It's what I also call a coat again because it's a cardigan, but it's also like a coat and it's great for this transitional season. I love the colorway. It has this like peachy, orangey color going with this sort of like oatmeal neutral color going. And then to bring it into spring and make the color pop, I went with with this like deep orange turtleneck. Paired it with some jeans. Again, it's Friday, it's casual Fridays. You can wear some jeans to work on casual Fridays. And I finished it off with the pumpkin colored boots. I threw on a hat to kind of complete the look, but you can totally ditch the hat, you know, if it's not appropriate for work. Let me, hat or no hat, especially for work. Let me know in the comments. So if you made it this far and you're enjoying the video, this is the perfect time to give this video a like and also share it with a friend because you may not know this, but you probably know someone who needs to see this. Now, I promised at the beginning of the video that I would share with you, okay, the one style secret that is going to revolutionize how you build your outfits. Now, I just showed you guys the cardigan outfit, right? I'm obsessed with the cardigan and I just love the way I felt in this look overall. Maybe it's another Friday and I'm just like, I've woken up late again, I'm trying to figure out what to wear. And then I check my phone and I open up my outfits I love. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check my style secrets video. I will put it right here. But I open up the outfits I love folder on my phone and I remember that I love that cardigan outfit, okay? So I'm like, okay, I have another oversized cardigan and then I just need a cute top or a bodysuit or something that's just fitted underneath it. Those jeans, I'm pulling them back out, okay? And then footwear. So here I go again, without overthinking it, I was able to use the inspiration I've already had saved on my phone 
to create another look, right? And I know I don't have to worry about whether this look is gonna look great on me, whether I'm gonna feel confident in this look. Why? Because I know that it already looked great on me and I already felt confident in this look and I was already comfortable in this look, right? And so the more and more you do this, the more and more you recreate looks that you love, that you feel confident in, the more it becomes easier and easier for you to put together outfits. It'll get to a point where you don't even have to think too much about, okay, what do I like? All right, you don't have to think too much about, okay, what am I gonna wear? Also, when you start noticing these patterns about like what you like to wear, you can start making shopping decisions. You know that you like, you know, a longer over piece. So as we're going into spring and summer, obviously we can't wear cardigans. The middle of the summer is super hot, but you know what we can wear? We can wear lightweight kimonos. So you know, okay, I could get myself some cute lightweight kimonos and just like a fitted tank top or bodysuit underneath it, throw on my jeans, and maybe instead of boots, I could do some flats, okay? And voila, I have another look that I feel super confident in and I look great in. So for that person who asked me, how do you create outfit templates? This is how you do it. <laughs> So if you're still struggling with figuring out like what looks good on you, you know, maybe because your body's changed and you're not as confident as you were with your style choices, sis, I've done the work for you. Click the link in the description box below to grab your style template workbook. So let me know in the comments down below, which look was your favorite? One, two, three, four, or five. So if there's something I featured in this video I forgot to link, make sure to check out the Shop My Outfits link in the description box of this video. I link 99.9% .9 of everything that I feature on LTK. And while you're there, download the app and follow me. It gives you access to so many more tools. You're able to see the collections I create. I'm creating collections for shapewear. I'm creating collections for undergarments, for swimwear, for workwear, et cetera, et cetera best jeans, right? You're able to see all of that when you have the app and you're able to search for your pieces directly on the app. Check out this video and this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.